The new Prosperity Copper Gold Project is located in the Caribou Regional District of British Columbia, 125 kilometers southwest of the city of Williams Lake. The region covers a large area of BC, over 80,000 square kilometers, roughly the size of Portugal, and is home to some 63,000 people and 18 municipalities. This is also home to a number of First Nation communities for whom the area is considered traditional territory. New Prosperity is the largest undeveloped copper gold deposit in Canada, the seventh largest in the world. The mine site is located within the Fish Creek watershed, which contains Fish Lake, Little Fish Lake, and Fish Creek. The original plan for the mine called for the draining of Fish Lake. That is no longer the plan. Tosico's extensive knowledge of the land is the result of decades of examination and assessment of the watershed. New Prosperity will preserve Fish Lake and its immediate surroundings so that the lake and the rainbow trout population within it are protected. By locating the tailings facility two kilometers upstream and away from Fish Lake, the lake can be preserved in its entirety. The deposit contains a very large low-grade gold and copper reserve. The deposit measures approximately 1,500 meters by 800 meters and extends to a depth of 880 meters. Drilling and sampling in the area dates back to 1963 and continues to the present day. The project was designed by some of the world's foremost environmental and engineering companies. During the four-phase, 20-year mine life, the open pit will grow to up to 1,600 meters in diameter at the pit rim and to a depth of 525 meters. The rim of the pit will be approximately 500 meters from the lake. Waste rock will be stockpiled to the north of the pit and lower grade ore will be stored to the northeast of the pit for processing later in the mine life. The mine plan calls for a concentrator, maintenance shop, warehouse, and an administration and accommodation complex. The mine will operate using rotary drills, electric cable shovels, diesel electric trucks, and a fleet of support equipment to maintain roads, dumps, and stockpiles. Ore from the pit will be crushed and conveyed to the concentrator. In the concentrator, the ore is crushed and ground up in water to the consistency of sand to expose the fine particles of copper and gold. The gold and copper is then collected using the same kind of reagents that are used at most copper mines, and the remaining sand, called tailings, is pumped as a slurry with water to the tailings storage facility. The tailings storage facility starts out small and slowly increases in size over time, keeping pace with the rate of mining taking place in the pit. Some of the waste rock contains naturally occurring sulfides, which must be kept submerged in the tailings pond to prevent oxidization and potential acid rock drainage. Location of the deposit within the Fish Creek watershed allows the mine to be designed so that all mining activity and disturbance takes place in a single watershed upstream of the pit. Currently, rain and snow melt are the only sources of the water within the Fish Creek watershed. Upper Fish Creek flows to the northwest and discharges into Fish Lake. Fish Lake drains into Lower Fish Creek, which then drains into the Tosico River, a tributary of the Chilcotin River, which in turn flows to the Fraser River. During mining operations, the project will impede the natural water flows in the watershed. Specifically, the tailings facility will cut off and limit the flows into Fish Lake, and the open pit will cut off the outflow from Fish Lake. However, a number of mitigation measures will be implemented to ensure the preservation of the lake and the viability of its trout population. In order to maximize the contribution of non-contact water to Fish Lake, surface runoff from the upland areas east of the project is intercepted and directed to the lake. To maintain appropriate water levels and flows into Fish Lake, the water draining out of Fish Lake will be recirculated back to feed Fish Creek's spawning and rearing habitat and ultimately the lake itself. Excess water not required to maintain Fish Lake will be pumped to the tailings pond. Rainfall and groundwater in and around the pit is pumped directly to the concentrator for use in the milling process and then pumped up into the tailings pond. Ditches around the ore and waste stockpiles will collect water to be pumped to the concentrator. Tailings pond embankments are designed to allow minimal but controlled seepage. To ensure water from the tailings pond is contained and restricted from impacting the water quality of Fish Lake, it is collected in seepage ponds and pumped back into the tailings facility. Water table beneath the Fish Lake watershed is close to the surface. This water moves very slowly on the order of 10 meters per year, following a similar path as surface water, moving from topographic highs to lows. 
In the area of the pit, dewatering wells installed to increase the stability of the pit walls will temporarily lower the groundwater table in the immediate area. The tailings pond sits on low permeability clay-like glacial till, ideal for limiting seepage. Monitoring wells downstream of the tailings embankments will be used to monitor groundwater quality and confirm direction and rates of movement. If the monitoring suggests an undesirable deterioration of water quality, then this water will be collected and pumped back into the tailings pond. A properly designed and managed tailings facility can provide a healthy environment for fish and wildlife. At Tosico's Gibraltar mine, a large open pit copper mine, the tailings pond is home to three to five pound healthy rainbow trout, such as the high quality of the water at that operating mine. In the event that water quality in Fish Lake indicates a need, further mitigation is available to correct this situation and ensure the environmental integrity of the lake and its aquatic environment is secure. Once mining operations cease, the reclamation plan calls for restoration of the natural drainage pattern of the watershed, which will allow the pit to naturally fill up with rain and meltwater, a process that will take about 40 years. At the end of the mine life, the crushers and mills, conveyors and all mine facilities will be removed from the site and appropriately disposed of. The waste rock stockpile will be re-sloped and, as with the tailings, embankments and beaches, covered with soil, seeded, and planted to establish wildlife and waterfowl habitat. Once the pit is filled with water and provided the water quality meets the expectations and guidelines of the day, the natural drainage course for the entire watershed will be re-established. The site will continue to be monitored to ensure the two new lakes will become successful components of the Fish Creek watershed to provide British Columbians with recreational opportunities for generations to come.